and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some smooth investigator let's play this deck this deck's pretty sweet so what our deck's named after is smooth soloist with its ability to reduce the cost of allies in your hand and deck by two and then our investigators we have insightful investigator whenever we play a two cost card we draw one give it fleeting and then also veteran investigator as well that's our other investigator whenever i'm summoned all players draw one so we're gonna be trying to give our opponent a lot of puff caps we have teemo puff cap peddler and chump womp so we have these things to give give our opponent puff caps and then once they have a whole bunch of puff caps you know then we can have the veteran investigator we, we both draw one and so that they can draw into some puff caps we got a lot of card advantage though we got our chief mechanist zevies that can when whenever we draw cards give it fleeting create another additional copy um, our, you know, we have tons and tons of two mana cards, right? Because we have the, um, insightful investigators. We want lots of two mana cards where we can kind of go infinite on these two mana cards. But then of course, whenever we have smooth soloist, all those two mana cards will now cost zero. So then, so then our insightful investigator, we won't be drawing an extra card because they'll cost zero. However, we do have some four mana cards, twisted fate, insightful investigator, chump womp. These will now cost two mana whenever we play a smooth soloist and so then we'll still have insightful investigator you know we'll, we'll still be able to play two mana cards with uh these three and of course gotcha can turn into a two mana card as well um so yeah that's our deck should be pretty fun this is definitely a fun deck this isn't you know the most competitive but we're still gonna play it in a ranked um and we're gonna see if we get to do some cool stuff with Chief Mechanist Zevi, Insightful Investigator, Smooth Soloist, Teemo, Puff Cat Peddler, Twisted Fate. You know, just all fun cards to play. That's a good good spot to be, to play all fun cards. Also put together a Lee Sin deck for later. We're going to try Lee Sin out with Zed. See if we can get that to work. Okay, kind of expen expensive hand that we started with, mulliganed, and still kind of, a, kind of an expensive hand. So this looks like spooky karma control. That egg, did it move? No, 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 no. Hmm. Stand aside. An expert is at work. Well, this is a card that we want to play in the end of the game, not at the beginning of the game. But man. I must get out of here. Uh, we don't really have other options. So now I can just save the spell mana for next turn. Maybe I should do that. I'm always up for a round or two. We'll just clear this up. I'm a people person. It's been the best of hands. Deal me in. We don't get to gain any mana from this. It's not yet. I'd like to. <clears throat> um, let's see. So this is turn five. So probably going to be mystic shotting our opponent to be able to play the smooth soloist with plunder. That'd be my guess. 
And they'll have the attack token on, on that turn, on turn seven. So that maybe down. they keep the Smooth Soloist alive and we get to attack them and hit them for three and then play the other Smooth Soloist. Eyes open. That could be a thing. All right, next turn. We go Insightful Investigator into Eager Apprentice. Looks like trouble. Wow, I'll take that. Investigating officer, unit six. I don't know. If we play Eager Apprentice, we're basically just. We're just burning the top card of our deck. Because I won't be able to play it. Cool. I'm glad we didn't. Chump Wump's a good card. I don't want to just burn Chump Wump. Oh no, now we gotta play Teemo. So we don't get to. Well, I guess. Yes, yeah, so wait. I can play Smooth Solos and then Teemo costs zero. Okay. Hey, Psylocke. Close your eyes and drift away. Alright, well, the Teemo was fleeting. We had to play it. Happy to do whatever's needed. I've got a lead. All right. Okay, let's play the Chump Wump so we get another fleeting card. Okay, make it rain. Now the question, do I play make it rain to get another fleeting card? The answer is yes. Ooh, new Teemo. Um... So I want to keep them from drawing two. No, not really. I think they can draw two. I want to give them these mushroom clouds. So I want them to draw mushrooms. Hey, Elder. So I think that's our plan, is basically just have them draw a lot of cards, have them draw like these nine puff caps or whatever. Help kill him that way. Um. Another day in the field. While I could play Smooth Soloist, I don't think it really makes sense to play Smooth Soloist when it's like, you know, this is very likely Ruination. And I'm kind of glad I didn't play Smooth Soloist because now Chump Womp can get us a new Fleeting card. So those last two fleeting cards of Mega Rain and Teemo aren't the most impactful, but Elise, where are you? the good news is I think I just pass. Don't draw your card. I have nine cards. Still taking notes. There's criminals to pursue. Logic now they have ten. Separate us from Where there is life, there is hope. All right. Well, not ruination.
Alright, I don't need that eager apprentice. I do have nine cards still. Um, yeah. Let's make it ten. Indeed. Take a look at this. Ooh. We'll just pass. <laughs> Burn that ruination. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, veteran investigator. Eighteen puff caps. Whoa. We're gonna double up the puff caps. We're not getting rid of Timo. They're bouncing chump womp and letting me we doubled up puff caps and now we have two chump lumps also. Wow. I got ways to find me Let's play this one they know about. Grow free. Yeah, I wanna play the other one too. Do like a yodel in uniform. No, Chief Mechanist Evie. Puff caps. This kind of deck, you know, you always gotta think about um, health potion. Also, like that's always an option. Yeah, J Hop, this is this is definitely a fun deck. It's not you know, it's not necessarily the best, but we get to do a lot of cool things. We got to, we get to do a lot of fun things for sure. Yeah, I like this deck a lot. Yeah. I think that we would prefer to play against Karma all the time. Karma is a really slow deck, and that's whenever you're playing a puff cap deck, you want to play against really slow decks. So that's exactly what we want to face. So we'll take it. It's Friday, it's Fun Deck Friday. Want to have some fun. Ooh, Ezreal Braum, probably a slow deck. Probably pretty good for us that it's a slow deck. I don't know if I keep Zevi in my opening hand. Maybe not. And, you know, maybe I just shouldn't even be keeping the Eager Apprentice against the, um, you know, like, Static Shock Ezreal deck. 
you know, it is like a, a free 2-1, but maybe you don't need a free 2-1. Like, maybe that's not a good use of a card and I should be looking for more impactful cards. Timo got him once. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. That's what Timo would have said. Oh, a 4 2. Rip off. I'm just gonna pass. Keep the two spell mana for Chump Wump. Is it the Who knows? Hey, Brom. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. First, we fight. Make it rain has the highest upside if it hits Braum. I think I cast Mystic Shot though. So make sure. And I, I wanted to do this after damage because I didn't want to cast Mystic Shot first and then they have Brittle Steel. And they have Brittle Steel um, on the Chump Womp. That's what I was worried about. It is easy, see? Mm, Elixir of Iron. Even worse for me. Investigating officer, Unit 6. Nothing escapes my watch. Pay dirt! No! My peddler! My peddler was gonna be worth so many puff caps. Dealing with this Braum is not going to be easy. Neither is that thing. The truth hinges on every piece of evidence. Indeed. Take a look at this. <laughs> this should be friends. And a peddler is fleeting. So if I want to play gotcha, make it rain, that kind of stuff, the peddler is fleeting. Uh. Save the homestead. Yes, that me. 
no, smooth solo is fleeting now. I really want the smooth soloist. Ugh. Those are two cards I'd really like. Sorry, insightful investigator, not helping. I'm glad they didn't have another elixir of iron, because yeah, that Braum was about to level up. Start playing a bunch of Mega Rains to clear up the board and also draw new fleeting cards. Or just get a Zevi in play. I'll leave this before a Braum shows up. <laughs> okay, or we'll just get a, a fleeting Zevi. Big Alfredo. Double trouble. Rum Yuck. Is on the job. Um. Now we've drawn one gotcha. I don't know if we've drawn the other one, but that's really the card that I could use the most would be drawing a gotcha. Not sure if I want another insightful investigator. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should just play it. Yeah, I guess I should. Let's play this thing first. So yeah, Gotcha and Mystic Shot. Those are those are the two cards that we want more than any others. They're Gotcha and Mystic Shot. Firing. Class five focus optical burn. Laser proof safety gear. I got you. We're gonna be up to nine mana. We have so many cards that we could play. It's it's really just a matter of mana of getting enough mana. We have like infinite cards we can play. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. You know, we can play the Mega Rain and draw more cards. See, I'm still like a yodel in uniform. Have a mushroom. Have three. All right, we're gonna try for the give them tons and tons of buff caps line. 
now. Well, maybe they'll draw 15 puff caps. Oh, the last card was a Mystic Shot, so that's lethal. That does that does four damage, and then each one of these does two, so that's twelve. Did it. the elixir of iron to save that first Brom was really what was like the difference was that elixir of iron. Without that card, if that was just another removal spell or, you know, something else or another unit or removal spell, um, then we, you know, we would have had that first Braum killed and then we would have been able to use the, um, uh, the get, not the get excited, the other card, you know, the other card that we had for removal, we would have been able to use that to kill the Ezreal and not the first Braum. Go Teemo! Oh, come on. Push on without me. We're not gonna push on without you, Teemo. Nothing like the great outdoors. Never leaving you behind. Stop. Mega Reigns haven't been looking good for us. Like last game, not so good either. I'm always up for a round or two. All that glitters. Purity, peace. Flavor and spice. Rod! Did that sound right? Mm, a delicious challenge. Taste the glory. That's a good mega rain. Wonder if I just hold Eager Apprentice in hand. In case of Veteran Investigator. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I should have played Eager Apprentice just to block here. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Could just play Citrus Courier Happy to do whatever's needed. as a blocker. I'll play this thing as a blocker. So hopefully Mega Rain does Nexus damage next turn. So that we can then play Smooth Soloist. There is a possibility now with them playing more units that it does not do Nexus damage. But that is the hope. Alright, well, we're doing Nexus damage, but... Not killing any of those things. On our way. Uh, I'm gonna just skip this block. Close your eyes and drift away. It's 
So next turn we have 8 mana. So I do get to play... If I attack first and do Nexus damage, then I can play Smooth Soloist, then Courier. I can do both of those. But Courier plus Teemo, of course, is pretty awesome. We haven't been giving them any puff caps besides this, but that's a cool little combo that our deck has. Tough swinging them big fists around, Vi. Stick around. I'll show ya. Hmm. That card's scary. Reporting in. I'm gonna offer up Teemo. I think they ch I think they challenged Twisted Fate, but I'm gonna give them the option which one they want to challenge. Feel the sizzle! Head to the face! Freeze. Yeah, I thought that would be their challenge. No one goes hungry. I'm not done yet. Sure, boss. <clears throat> Safety first. Puts me down to three. Sure, boss. Something good. Okay, okay. That could be worse. Yeah, never know what hit him. Could make this work, maybe. I'm what nightmares fear. Come on a music journey. Hey, give me a beat for my beat down. Ha. Huh. That is one that I have not. <laughs> that is one I have not heard before. Give me a beat for my beat down. Of course, now play a two cost card. Citrus Courier, two cost card. Good deck building. What do we want to play? Do we gotcha the Vi, I guess? Maybe we just kill Senna? Let's kill Senna. Yes, of course. No. Fight on. Alright, let's miss some boots up. They're hoping to draw a unit there. That you know would cost zero mana. Let's see, we're just drawing the twisted fate first, and then the the next turn, like this turn, draw Mystic Shot, where we can play it and draw a new card. So, do I want a red card or gold card? That's basically the question. Um, if I take this red card... No, that doesn't sound like a good plan. Alright, so we block a gold card. Stun Vi. Now they have, they have a bunch of 3-4s, but I have... A 4-2 to block one, and I have two three fours that can block others. Cool, thanks, Psylocke. So yeah, we'll we'll check out this new card after the uh, after our five games. Block, 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 Sit back down. Block. Ow! 
hope they don't go Twisted Fate red card on me. Play on. Finally, Thermal Junk Beam did not kill Teemo. Alright, GG's. Two and one. Citrus Courier. That was a big time Citrus Courier. Citrus Courier allowed us to attack again, hit him for seven, and give him five puff caps. And because of the insightful investigator, it drew us a card, which was the gotcha, which killed the Senna. <laughs> so the Citrus Courier um, did all of that. Oh, I'm sure this is going to be a tough matchup. Frostbite midrange is just super good. So I'll be surprised if we win this, but we're going to try our best. And uh, do I just keep all these? These aren't bad. These aren't bad. So we had a new champion previewed. Is there... Okay, yeah, so there's just one champion left. I didn't actually want them to block that. Being annoying. Poor man's gone mad. I hope Babbling Beer just drew the Yeti that was on top. Hopefully, that's all that happened. Right there. because <clears throat> these units are just so big. We need our card advantage. Alright, Peddler's not card advantage, but also not too bad. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Ride onward! That hurts. I'm gonna give them more puff caps. Mm. Surrender to the melody. <laughs> yeah, Ash Sejuani. This has it all. They have the best interaction. They have the the biggest units, the best card advantage. All right, two and two, our little fun deck. Can't quite compete with that one, but not many decks can compete with that one. Not, not with that kind of hand. Also, that was not a. Uh, yeah, that was not a bad hand whatsoever. <laughs> hey, Tan. But that's all right. We're still two and two. We still have a chance to go three and two going into our last game. 
So still have a chance to get a good winning record with our smooth investigator. Veteran Investigator later. These cards are, like, good later. I mean, I guess that's a good four mana card. They don't have too many answers to Teemo, and really, you know, we're certainly hoping they don't have an answer to Teemo. You're hoping no Vile Feast. Nothing like that. I uh, don't want to draw double Zevi. That's not what we want on our op in our opening hand. I would have rather had the cards I mulliganed. They just didn't have Vile Feast. This would be a, an easy game. Especially these chump lumps and everything. So the the puff caps, I want to give them puff caps later after they like if they're gonna be tossing cards, they'll be just tossing the cards that we give them puff caps with. Officer, unit six. All right, well, they're at twenty anyway, so it's just a five mana gotcha. All right, now we talking. Now we talking. Danger pay. No. I guess we have we have gotcha to kill that thing. All right, get him, Teemo. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. Yeah, never know what hit him. <clears throat> so we do get a bunch of puff caps, but again, they they are a toss deck, so the, usually it's better to wait. Going harvesting. Now they can have different sea monsters that still take down Teemo, but we're going to force them to have those sea monsters. You know, they can have obviously the, the Devourer, they can have just the Elusive Blocker, but hopefully neither. Okay. At least force them to have those, not let our Teemo die that easily. Um, Maybe it's better to go Peddler plus Chump Wump. And give them a bunch more mushroom clouds than just play Zevi. Like and a bunch more puff caps. Alright, so they have 39. Toss two Lure of the Depths. Which is too bad. I, I want them to have Lure of the Depths, right? Because I want them to draw cards. Dang, those two cards had six puff caps. So went down to 31. Man, those three had five puff caps. The good news is now they only have 19 as far as these 16 puff caps go. Uh. 
Okay. <clears throat> Safety first. Hmm. Sure, boss. I, uh, Excuse you. <clears throat> Safety first. I basically I don't want to have the two one block the the wanderer and then they kill my two one. Well, I guess I guess they do kill the two one. They don't gain. At least I really want to get the wanderer out of here. But I guess if they do kill the two one. They don't actually gain three life. So maybe it'd be worth it. You dream it, I'll build it. All right, not ruination. Hmm. Maybe again, just should not be playing apprentice in case we draw an insightful investigator. Well, I don't think they're gonna ruination after playing Nautilus, so I think we can play another Zevi. Now 13 cards left. Oh, now back up to 16, right? Because they get to put three sea monsters back in, so those three sea monsters don't have any puff caps on them. I get rid of two more cards. So I'm back up to the 16. Need to keep giving them more puff caps. So now they have five cards that have no puff caps until you know, like we're giving them six total my best card to find is like veteran investigator honestly because then we would get like three copies of veteran investigator and then so then it's like them drawing three cards and then us, you know, also drawing three cards and finding a bunch more stuff. Yeah, so Veteran Investigator is the best card to draw. We did, we mulliganed one earlier. So that we put it back into the deck so we'd have it for later. Mm, I want them tossing those sea monsters. Ow. Your two cards and only one pump cap drawing into the sea monsters. It's unfortunate. I want them to toss the sea monsters, draw something else. Double travel. And they still didn't draw puff cap there. They just drew three cards and got one total puff cap. <laughs> All right, which one of these do I get rid of? Peddler or Zevi? Guess the Peddler. Yeah, they've had a lot of luck here <laughs> with these puff caps and what they've been tossing and all that kind of stuff. Some of these puff caps have to have like 10 cards on them or something. Or some of these cards have to have like 10 puff caps on them. Ten. Alright, there's two. And now ten. Zero? Close your eyes. Hmm. 
close your eyes and drift away. So their last five cards have had three total puff caps. Sure, Atrocity's lethal. I mean, what do you what do you want me to do about that? They had like 16 cards and 40 puff caps, and then drew five cards and got three puff caps. All right, so there we go. Smooth Investigator. Definitely a fun deck to play. Not necessarily the best deck, but you hope to get some good variants with the puff caps which we didn't get very good variants with the puff caps that last game we gave them tons and they they were tossing all sorts of cards that had puff caps and then drawing cards that had none but oh well um anyway yeah so that's that's what we got there's smooth investigator all right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.